Hello everyone. So welcome to this session. So till now we have discussed uh, the concepts of uh, magnetization, magnetic flux density, and all of them. Force between differential current elements and force on differential current elements, and we have seen a uh, few problems related to them. Okay. So now. We have seen one problem in the last session, which we have had three sub questions related to force on a moving charge, right? So now let's uh, get our uh, what to say important on this important topic that is magnetic boundary conditions. Okay, so this topic is very very important and again many many times repeated question. Okay, that is magnetic boundary condition. Okay. So now, what are these magnetic boundary conditions? Let us see that. Okay. So before that, let's analyze this figure. So here we have a magnetic medium. Here, this is one magnet which has one certain amount of charges in it. Okay. And this is the magnetic field intensity which I have drawn here is from both the upper side as well as the lower side. And the length of this magnetic uh, magnet, or we can call it as a simple magnet, is called as given as delta L. Okay. And uh, here, these two directions are represented as HT1, that is the uh, magnetic field intensity due to this uh, position 1, and uh, magnetic field intensity due to this position 2 is represented as HT2. Okay, and mu1 and mu2 are the permeability which are uh, uh, provided by this magnetic medium. And here, this is the direction of propagation is given as AR12. And here, this is one cylindrical medium where the upper surface is called as uh, area, uh, area delta S. So now upper and lower surface, both of them are called as area, which is associated as delta S, and also this upper surface is called as a magnetic flux density is coming out of this surface that is represented as Vn1. Okay, and also magnetic flux density which is coming out of the lower part is represented as Vn. Okay. So now this figure shows the boundary conditions between two isotropic means and this is isotropy that is upper surface as well and lower surface. Homogeneous linear materials with the permeability that's given as mu1 and mu2. Okay. So now apply Gauss law for this. See, we have seen in the last uh, last sessions that uh, there is one relation for a Gauss when you apply Gauss law in magnet in magnetic field that is surface intensity of d dot ds is equal to zero. Okay. So using this equation, we get one more relation that is we find that Vn1 delta s minus Vn2 delta s is equal to zero. Okay. What is this Vn1? So Vn1 is the uh, upper side, upper surface into the area delta s minus the lower surface uh, into delta s is equal to zero. So why this is equal to zero? Because since the upper surface, upper surface and the lower surface are equal, they are symmetrically equal to each other. Okay, since it's a cylindrical surface, so we can say that V n one delta s equal to V n two delta s. Okay, so if we take this V n two delta s to other side and this bring it zero to other side, we get this equation. V n one delta s minus V n two delta s is equal to zero. So now from this equation, we can say that delta s, if we take common outside and take this to the other side, that delta s goes away. And we can say that Vn1 is equal to Vn2, that is magnetic flux density moving out of the surface 1 and magnetic flux density moving out of surface 2, both are equal. Okay. So therefore, from this relation, we can uh, write that Vn1 can be represented as mu1 into Hn1. Okay. Since V is equal to mu times H. Okay. Similarly, Bn2 can be represented as mu2 into Hn2. So, from these two relations, we can get the uh, our relation for Hn2, that is mu1 by mu2 into Hn1. Okay, so therefore, from this way, we are getting the relation of Hn2. Okay, so now we need to note one thing that is normal component of B is continuous, but the magnetic field intensity H is discontinuous by the ratio of mu1 by mu2. Okay. Here the normal component of B is continuous, but magnetic field intensity product that is Hn2 is uh, discontinuous, which, which is providing a ratio of uh, mu mu1 by mu2. Okay, so therefore Vn1 is equal to Vn2 are continuous. That is normal component of B are continuous, but the magnetic field intensity, if we uh, substitute this equation as mu1 into Hn1 equal to mu2 into Hn2, we won't be getting Hn1 equal to Hn. Okay, we will be getting Hn2 is mu1 by mu2 times Hn1. Okay, so therefore they are discontinuous by the ratio of mu1 by mu2. So now use the Ampere's law, which we have derived already, that is uh, line integral of h dot dl is equal to i. Okay, using that, take the counterclockwise strip around the path 
H T one delta L minus H T two delta L is equal to K delta. L, okay. So what is this K? K is the assuming boundary may carry the surface current K. So this is K is uh, represented as the surface current which uh, is having which has the varying value. It is not having a fixed value, so therefore it is represented as K. Okay. Which which is going to be having different values of current. Now what is this equation here? So if you see this figure here, H T one. Okay. Counter clockwise. So this is clockwise strip here. Okay. If they if we take the counter clockwise strip uh, with the differential uh, length of delta L, so H T one delta L it will move it will moving like this. And again, if it comes like this, we can see that uh, it's moving in this direction, but H T two is in opposite direction. It is it is in the direction of this magnetic medium. So this would be minus H T two delta L is equal to the current uh, uh, the current induced by this magnetic medium. It might be varying. This is for a particular magnetic field. But uh, for uh, there we will be having different magnetic fields and we will be having different current. Okay, so that's why we can say that H T one delta L minus H T two delta L is equal to K delta L. Okay. So now using this relation, we can also derive this uh, equation that is H T one minus H T two is equal to K by taking the delta L from both the sides here. Okay, we can cancel this. So H T one minus H T two is equal to K. So therefore, H one minus H two. And by taking this H T one and H T two, that is, we can get the direct relation of uh, electric magnetic field intensity cross A R one two, A N one two equal to K. So therefore, H T one minus H T two is equal to A N one two cross K. Okay. So this A N one two would be uh, doing the cross product with this uh, uh, the magnetic current element provided by the unit vector of A N one two. So therefore, now H T one is again with B is equal to mu times H. So therefore, the we can the substitute this as B T one by mu one minus B T two by mu two is equal to K. Since H is equal to B by mu, so this is the relation of magnetic boundary condition which we obtain. Again, this is very very important and multiple times repeated question. So please note it down. Okay. So now let's get to the one simple problem here related to magnetic susceptibility, a direct problem. Okay, which I have told you right, it would be coming. So in this problem, we can see given a ferrite material which we shall uh, specify to be operating in a linear mode with the uh, the magnetic flux density as we have given it as 0.05 tesla. So now let us assume that the relative uh, permeability produced is uh, 50, and we need to be calculating the values of sau m, that is magnetic susceptibility. M is the uh, magnetization, and h is the magnetic field intensity. Okay. So now we know that mu r is given, but for the formula for mu r, which I have told you that is mu r is equal to one plus sau m. Okay, so that's why therefore the sau m is equal to mu r minus one. Since they have given the value of mu r, we need to be calculating the sau m, right? So therefore sau m is equal to mu r minus one. So sau m is equal to mu r is fifty, so fifty minus one. Therefore the magnetic susceptibility which we get is forty nine. Okay, the direct question these questions might be asking they will be asking for four marks only. So that's why I am telling it to you. So now we have one more relation that is V is equal to mu times h. But in the question they haven't mentioned any free space or vacuum, so therefore we cannot uh, consider mu is equal to mu not in this case. Okay. So therefore mu we we need to be considering it as mu not into mu r. So therefore V is equal to mu not mu r h. Okay. So V they are given as a point zero five tesla. Substitute that. Mu not value is fixed, right? So what what is the constant value of mu not? That is four pi into ten to the power minus seven, and mu r. Mu R is 50. They have given in the question into H. Okay, so 0.05 divided by this whole term, bring it to the other side. So this will be 0.05 divided by 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 50 equal to H. And if we solve this uh, problem, if we substitute this in the calculator, the value of pi is 3.14. Hope you might be knowing this. The value of H, which we get is uh, 796.17. Okay, and the unit is a forward rate unit, amperes per meter. Square. Okay, so this is the unit. We need to be writing the units of all the answers which we get. Since these two are constant, so the unit these two don't have units. So this X M and magnetization. So magnetization is again uh, the relation which you are seeing. Sau M into H. Okay, so ma uh, mag M is equal to sau M, which is produced is forty nine into H. Just now we have got in the seven ninety six point one seven. If you multiply it, this is the answer we get. That is thirty nine thousand twelve point three three. That is thirty nine point zero one. Kilo. Okay. So this is the answer of magnetoid magnetization, and uh, this is this was one simple problem. So hope you understood this problem. Okay.
so that's all for this session okay so in the next session we are going to solve two important problems and we are going to wind up this session okay very very important problem okay so that's all for wind up this module so that's all for this session please like share subscribe and be updated to this channel stay updated and refer all the videos if we have uh, created the playlist and uh, we have uh, created the videos of all the modules not only for the subject but all the subjects of both self electronics and communication screen okay so please share it to your dear friends and uh, please update about this channel and stay tuned uh, to further uh, uh, videos which we are making and uh, you can refer our playlist uh, all the model paper solutions are we have solved it so it may be appearing on the right of the screen now okay go back to our channel and uh, click the playlist button and refer all the playlist all the videos are available so please don't hesitate to watch our videos we have created the content which are which is updated version and uh, this, uh, in the youtube which we are getting is all the concepts of uh, three years four years back now this is the updated version and the concepts and some of the concepts are changed with the, some change formula so that's why we are updating the video so please uh, do stay tuned to this channel so that's all like share subscribe thank you